also I forgot to mention day one of manifesting March I learned something really powerful I learned the word no I had three people email me asking me to do some things and I just um, I'm really proud I said look one of the person I said look I'd love to do but right now I couldn't do a great job for you because I'm too stretched perhaps we try again in six months time the other persons I just said just not physically possible right now and I can't remember the other person it was three people I just said I, I can't I, I said I just I couldn't but here's an alternative time that I can help potentially help you and it was so liberating saying no like I'm someone who often says yes just to please people and it was the most power empowering thing I just got such a rush of energy and I just found like I found like it felt like I found myself again another thing I want to quickly mention um, I finally bought Rocco that wetsuit that I've been meaning to for a long time and it cost a lot more than I expected so the way I looked at that was it's okay I just said okay I paid for it out of my weekly weekend budget and um, I just said you know what I'm supporting a business I'm supporting a, a local business and um, respecting the flow of money and um, this is gonna this wetsuit will help keep Rocco enjoying his swimming lessons and staying warm in the um, ocean so we just had swimming lessons and it turned out Rocco has lost his goggles um, now this is the second pair of goggles he's lost and normally I'd get really angry and I've searched high and low I've asked lost property at the swimming pool and they're gone so instead of getting angry and annoyed at having to buy another pair I've decided this is a really good wake-up call um, and an opportunity for me to teach Rocco a lesson about taking care of his things um, you know not losing them paying attention and you know showing respect to you know things like owning things so I'm um, again that's shifted my headspace around like getting frustrated and angry with having to spend money unnecessarily also we are off to a play date now it's Saturday um, like midday and normally my typical old me would like grab something from a cafe on the run to, for the kids to have as a snack I take packed bowls and spoons so we're not gonna waste product like we're not gonna waste money in getting food but we're um, also gonna waste money on like excess packaging and I've taken a big tub of yogurt down instead of those expensive um, pouches for the kids these are things that I've learned from doing frugal February I'm so much more aware as to how much money I spend on food so not only am I gonna be hopefully manifesting money in March well I am manifesting money in March I'm also gonna be saving money all right this morning I got up and I went with Tom to work. It is Sunday. He had to treat a horse um, quite a fair way out of Sydney. So I decided we would go together. We could chat in the car and talk and spend some time, um, you know, with no one around us. And, you know, Rocco is with his dad today. So it was really nice. And it was nice to see, like, be around such beautiful animals as horses. When I got home, the weather was pretty revolting. So I had a quick nap. And I am now actually at my local um, shopping mall. During frugal February, I realized I need some basics. I need some simple t-shirts to wear with jeans. I need some new running shoes. I need some new like basic um, little sneakers to wear with jeans. And um, I've coming. I've come to the super or shopping mall to do to grab those things. I know exactly what I want. I'm not going to deviate. I'm going to be really careful of that inner wild child that wants to splurge and go nuts and buy everything in rebellion against frugal February, but I won't. Um, one thing though I found really interesting is I just manifested a parking spot. It is, as I said, the weather is pretty gross here in Sydney. It's a Sunday. Bondi Junction is jam packed. It, there is impossible to get a parking spot. Everyone's driving around. Anyway, I was like, uh, driving around and Tom kind of made this comment of good luck everyone in Sydney is going to be there like when I said I was coming up here I was driving and I could feel myself starting to get a bit frustrated and I was like stop just breathe relax enjoy driving around a parking spot will present itself and not only did a parking spot present itself it was actually a really hard parking spot to pull into and I was tr like trying to do this I was like part of me was like maybe just drive on because this is going to be way too hard to sque squeeze into Anyway, as I was like, no, no, just trust, just trust, have a go. And I almost laughed at how much I was struggling to pull into this parking spot. Anyway, lo and behold, the person in front of the parking spot gets in their car and drives off and created the world's most easy parking spot for me to pull into. 
So the universe just simply didn't want me to spend much money. I will show you what I purchased in a second, but I'm just after the most simple, basic, well-made cotton crew neck t-shirts. Like I want a white one, a black one, a burgundy and green one. That's all I want. And could you think I could find that? No. Every store that I like go to for those sorts of things sold out or didn't have it in my size. Like just not meant to be. I will show you the two things that I did buy in a second. Have a, a couple of things happen I wanted to share with you. I was thinking I really felt like a, a fruit juice, like a watermelon juice or an orange juice. And I was like, you know what? During Frugal February, I fell for this trap. I went and got a juice, it cost like $8 and it really wasn't that good. And I was sort of, I was thinking I'm really thirsty, but I want something. Walked past a, a random cafe that I've never really noticed before and they're selling $2.50 lemon juice, um, which is perfect, a lot cheaper than $8. Now I did feel really bad because this is a waste of um, plastic. So I'm, I bought it home so I can make sure it goes into the recycling bin. But now that I know that cafe is there, if I ever want to go there again for another lemon juice, it was very refreshing, I will make sure that I take a water bottle with me and ask them if they can actually fill it up for me. And one last thing, on my way home, Tom called me and said, I have a craving for meatballs. Can you please get these meatballs for me? And I'm really hungry, so can you get like three servings? Now, these meatballs are good. They're not that amazing, but they're really expensive. Like, I just bought them for him, and I think it would have been cheaper to go to a restaurant and eat there. Anyway, I was thinking about, I'm like, this is really annoying as I was standing in the queue ready to pay. I was like, okay, just your mindset. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to be grateful that I'm, I'm in a position where I can afford to buy um, meatballs for someone that I love um, and just leave it at that and be grateful. And the moment I did that, I don't care that I ha had to do that. Like, it, If Tom wants meatballs, he's so incredibly kind and generous with me and Rocco. He can have meatballs and I will pay for it. It's not a problem. All right, from my shopping expedition, I had to get some new running shoes and some new like canvas shoes to wear with jeans. Um, I've been needing these two things for a really long time. Um, the tread on the sneakers running shoes ran out a really long time and my other canvas ones fell apart about three months ago. So I've been needing these things um, and putting them off for ages. Um, I have a really high arch. I need a really supportive shoe. I struggle to find a great running shoe and the only brand that I find that really, or shoe that really works are the ones, um, the, the Nike ones. And unfortunately the most supportive Nike ones are normally the most expensive ones. Um, I normally have to spend between $220 up to $260 for a pair of sneakers, which really hurts. Or, but I got lucky. Um, I found these new um, Nike Zooms in a great color. Um, and they were only $180. Now, I shouldn't really say only $180. That's still quite expensive. But considering I was walking in with the expectation of having to spend between $220 and $260, that was a pleasant surprise. So I'm going to show gratitude towards that savings. And then these are the new little um, Lacoste ones. This is like part of my capsule staple pieces. I wear these with shorts. I wear these with jeans. I wear these sometimes with little cute dresses. They're you know, I wear them for traveling. They're so comfortable. And I'm so excited how nice and new and clean and white they are. I'm gonna really make sure I take good care of them and like wipe them down each day to try and keep them looking nice and clean and fresh for as long as possible. Oh, and the good news is Tom is cooking the meatballs now. So at least whilst I had to buy them and pay for them, um, he's actually making um, a nice light early dinner for me. I am having a walk to wrap up the weekend with Giuseppe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wearing my new sneakers, which are so comfortable. And good news, I found some basics. Um, you know what, the universe works in a powerful way. When I got home, I was really annoyed that I did, the, thing, the one thing I desperately needed was t-shirts. I literally have, the ones I have are falling apart and I use them for the gym. I have no like nice t-shirts to wear with jeans. Anyway, I got home and I remembered my girlfriend Georgie from The Gross Tales talks about Everlane all the time. I thought, you know what? I'll go and see what she's talking about. And not only did I find what I needed, um, they're actually ethically produced. Um, and it, they had exactly what I wanted. I felt so much better because I don't, I'm pretty sure what places I was originally going to, to buy these t-shirts weren't ethically produced. And I felt so much better and it's actually cheaper than where I've previously been going. So 
that works out really well. Like the universe has my back. So it is the end of the weekend and I'm realizing that all the good things that I gained from Frugal February are continuing to flow into manifesting March. Like I'm being more mindful of the way I spend. Um, I'm sticking to what I learned that I valued more from Frugal February. So Frugal February was so worth doing. And I'm realizing that from manifesting March, like my energy is so much stronger and I'm so much more positive. Like I feel like I'm being like glasses half full per, per, like person. Um, whereas normally I'm quite like n neutral and I'm realizing it, you know, frugality and scarcity comes from a contracted space, whereas manifestation and abundance comes from an expansive energy space. And that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. I feel expanded. I feel open. I feel like I just, I feel happier and, um, not saying I'm not having challenging situations or moments, but I'm more interested in when those things happen to learn from the lessons so I can grow from that. So I think that's a beautiful thing to already come from manifesting much, regardless of any financial windfall. Also another really weird manifesting thing happened, which it actually happened on Friday, but I, I only heard confirmation about it um, about an hour ago. And I can't talk about it too much because of confidentiality, but myself and two other women in my life were just bought into it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it, a share of like a potential investment. And it's actually not a, about money, but it's actually about the community bond of women in this, um, in this particular investment share. And it may never make money. It quite possibly could make no money, like no money, but it's actually about women doing something powerful together. And I didn't, um, this person has actually basically invested on behalf of myself and these two other women in my life. And I heard about it and I didn't want to count my chickens until they hatched because I didn't know anything about it. And then tonight, um, I spoke to that person and they said, yes, um, I decided to do this for you and these are two other people. And, um, I think it's a really positive thing for you because you get to be part of this community with other women. So I can't, I'm really sorry that I can't explain, but it's purely due to confidentiality reasons. I'm just, I'm not allowed to, but, um, I'm just excited about this connection to other women and learning something new and a totally different type of investment, which is really exciting. Okay, I am signing off for the weekend. I've got a busy week ahead and I want to make sure I get a really good night's sleep. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. <laughs> Night.